I think in Hong Kong, at least, one has to make a distinction between the technical position as articulated in the textbooks and uh, what is currently happening, or more precisely, what is currently not happening. Under the strict law of Hong Kong, there are currently these exceptions where third-party funding is notionally permitted. Um, one thinks of access to justice considerations, a legitimate commercial interest, and the field of insolvency. But the reality is that the definitions and parameters are shrouded in uncertainty, and as a result, practitioners simply aren't prepared to take on the risks of being involved in cases where there is third-party funding, particularly in the field of arbitration, where none of the three supposedly recognized exceptions are likely to apply. And indeed, even the courts themselves haven't been able to agree, which is what's caused the current uncertainty. As long as, uh, a long ago, as long ago, sorry, it's 1995, in the Cannonway Consultants case, uh, Mr. Justice Kaplan, as he then was, uh, appeared to have given the green light to third party funding in arbitration. Uh, he expressed the view that there was absolutely no room for the application of the ancient relics, the doctrines of champerty and maintenance in the context of a private justice system such as arbitration. But unfortunately, eight years later, uh, the Court of Appeal came along in the case of Unra and Seeberger and threw a spanner in the works by casting doubt on the whole legitimacy of third party funding once again. And that's why in Hong Kong we have had uh, for the last uh, nine years or so, this climate of complete uncertainty, and uh, nobody will use third-party funding. No practitioners will want to be associated with cases in which there is third-party funding until the law is absolutely crystal clear. And the legislation which is currently being considered and looks as though it will be implemented, certainly by the end of this year, will, one hopes and one has every reason to expect, put an end to that uncertainty and confirm that uh, third-party funding is indeed appropriate in arbitration.